know me by now. My name is Tim, and I'm telling you about the adventure I had with Jump Jump up at the North Pole. Last, we were really on our way to the Ice Queen's palace to rescue Santa's reindeer. There was Jump Jump, the little elf who was no feet three inches tall, Mary Holiday, and the other folks from Holiday House, and myself, Tim. I'm just an ordinary boy, but I sure was excited about all the wonderful things we were seeing. But I never knew what was going to pop up next. Take the Christmas tree forest, for example. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. country. We were following the icy path which the Christmas spirit had shown us. Mary Holiday was driving the dog team in the sled that the Eskimos had given us. Jump Jump was whizzing along above us in his toy helicopter. He'd love to be up in the air looking down on us. Sleepy Slim the lion trotted along behind the sled, yawning at every step. Hachi Podley the clown and the poet were walking up ahead to keep a watch out. What a jolly sound, the tinkling of the bells and the dog's harnesses. The huskies trotted along, waving their tails in the air and barking every now and then. It was swell. Mary Holiday called out to me. Oh, isn't this fun, Tim? Sure is, Mary Holiday. I never had so much fun in all my life. I haven't had a nap for two hours. Think of that. <laughs> That's the longest time I've gone without my beauty sleep in years. <laughs> you look all right to me, Sleepy Slim. Oh, you ought to see me when I'm rested up, Tim. <laughs> well, what I want to know is, even if we do get to the Ice Queen's palace, how are we going to get inside of it? I've been wondering about that too, Mary Holiday. Santa said anyone that, touching, that ever touches the blue fire surrounding the palace was turned into a statue of ice. What do you think, Mary Holiday? Well, I don't think this is the time to worry about how we'll get into the palace, Tim. The Christmas fairy said we'd find a way, and I trust her. So do I. Oh, I'd sure like to see her again. <sighs> Me too. She was real pretty. Tim, is an Archie Pogley waving to us from the top of that hill over there? Maybe he's seen something. Oh, Jump Jump, why don't you fly ahead and see what Archie Pogley's pointing to? In a few minutes, Mary Holiday, Sleepy Slim, and I had reached the top of the hill, too, and stopped to look down at the strangest forest I'd ever seen. There must have been a million Christmas trees. Well, it looked like a million to me anyway. Every one of them was decorated all over with Christmas ornaments and tinsel. The air rang with the tinkle of the ornaments on the branches and the tinsel glowed, while all the stars in the tips of the trees glistened. If I'd stayed there all the rest of my life, I couldn't have counted the number of colored lights that winked from every tree. I knew at once that this must be the Christmas tree forest. Oh, how pretty, how pretty, Merry Holidays. Oh, yes, Jim 
jumped up. It's very pretty, isn't it? I wish Jennifer were here. Oh, yes, it's too bad we didn't bring your sister doll with us. I'll go back and get her now. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, don't leave us, Jump Jump. You stay right here. In fact, I think you'd better land your helicopter and let Tim put it in his pocket for a while. You've done enough flying for today. Say, Jump Jump. That was a swell landing you made. Right down onto this sled. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we followed the silver trail. We were on right down into the Christmas tree forest. Mary Holiday thought it would be a lovely place to stop and have our lunch. While we were resting beneath one of the glittering trees, I said, Just why are all these decorated Christmas trees here, Mary Holiday? But, Tim... This is a place where all the Christmas trees that have ever lived go. Now that again, Merry Holiday. Oh, haven't you ever felt sad when the time comes to take down your Christmas tree after Christmas has passed? Mm -hmm. I'll say so. Mm -hmm. I wish I could keep it up all the year. Well, this is the forest of past Christmas trees. See? No, I'm in a fog, babe. I'm in a fog. You mean that when the trees are burned, they come to live here? That's right, Tim. What we're looking at now are the spirits of past Christmas trees. Oh, I get it. They're ghosts. <laughs> no, Sleepy Slim. Not any more than a happy memory is a ghost. Then they're the memory of the past Christmas trees? Yes, that's a good way to put it, Tim. Now, if you had time to look around, you could probably find the tree that you had last year at the orphanage where you live. How would Tim know it was the same tree? Well, he knew it was the same tree, Jump Jump, because it would have a name and date on it. Yeah. This tree has a name on its trunk. Does it? Yes, there is a name on the trunk, Mary Holiday, right down here. What does it say, Tim? It says Betty and John, 1942. And the next tree, what does it say, Tim? This one reads... Holiday House, 1946. Holiday House? Then it was our tree once. I thought that tree looked familiar to me. Uh, hello, tree. Nice to see you again. <laughs> jump, jump, now you come down out of that tree. You don't have to climb all over it, you know. Oh, I wonder why Jump Jump's burrowing into the branches like that. Jump, jump. Yes, Mary Holiday. I think he's looking for something. <laughs> yes, I think you're right, Tim. <laughs> Take care. Yes, this is it, all right. There he is. I see his head poking out from behind the <laughs> ornament. What are you looking for, Jump Jump? He's disappeared <laughs> again. Jump Jump, where are you? There he is, there he is. Look, way up on the top branch. Oh, Jump Jump, come down, come down. <laughs> Grabbing hold of that tinsel garland, Mary Holiday. Oh, who do you think you are, Jump Jump, a trapeze artist? <laughs> What's that on his head? I can't tell, Mary Holiday. <laughs> it's a. Uh, uh... Whoops! He's sliding down the garland as if it was a rope. I'll catch him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I caught him. <laughs> What's that on your head, Jump Jump? May I see, please? It's your silver thimble, Mary Holiday. My silver thimble, but I lost it years ago. Yes, Mary Holiday. But how did it get here, in the tree? I found it for you. Once I was sewing with my silver thimble on New Year's Eve, and I've been looking for it ever since. How did you know it was here, Jump Jump? Uh, 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 uh. How did Jump Jump know it was in here, huh? Uh, well, well, uh... Yes, Jump Jump. Tell us how you knew to look here for my silver thimble. I put it there, Mary Holiday. You put it in the branches of the tree? Yes, in the branches of the Christmas tree. But how did it get up here in the forest? Well, you see... I remember. Jump Jump was playing football while I sewed. With a walnut. She was sewing with a walnut? <laughs> no. I was playing football with a wall. <laughs> and you took my thimble to use for a football helmet, Jump Jump. Uh, yes, I did, Mary Holiday. Mm -hmm. And when you finished, you put my thimble on the tree. <laughs> yes. 
And then we went to visit Slippy Slim in the zoo. And when we came... Ca- Polly had turned up that Christmas tree. That's right. When we came home, Archie Pockley had burned our Christmas tree. I forgot I had hidden your symbol, Mary Holiday. Your memory isn't much bigger than you are, Jump Jump. Here is your symbol. Will you forgive me? Well... Oh, do forgive him. He looks so I'm sad. I'm very sorry. Please forgive him, Mary Holiday. Forgive him. <laughs> oh, very well. As long as it's been found. <laughs> but you must never hide anything in the Christmas tree again. Sleepy Slim, what are you poking your head under the branches for? I'm looking to see if there's any sign of all the sleep that I've lost. Oh, oh Sleepy Slim. <laughs> oh. I wonder where Archie Pogley and the poet have wandered to. I can't see them anywhere. They can't be far. It's so hard to see with all the Christmas trees. Do you want me to go and find them for you, Mary Holiday? Yes, would you please, Tim? We've got to be moving along. But just as I started to look for the others... We heard that fairy music again, and we knew the spirit of Christmas must be near. My ears are ringing, Merry Holiday. Maybe they're frozen. Oh, Katie Kim, be quiet. That's the Christmas fairy you hear. Listen. saw the Christmas fairy first. She was hovering above us like a lovely dim angel in the sky. Her silver wings reflected all the colored lights from the tree, and she was smiling down upon us as she had before. I wished I could understand what she was saying to Mary Holiday. Her voice sounded like little dainty bells to me. Even Jump Jump couldn't understand her. I guess the reason was that the Christmas fairy is the spirit of Christmas itself. And that is something only grown-ups can really understand. At last, she faded away. What did she say, Mary Holiday? Yes. Well, the news is rather serious, Jump Jump and Tim. The Christmas fairy came to warn us to be very careful from now on. Why, Mary Holiday? Because, Tim, because the Ice Queen knows that we're coming to rescue Santa's reindeer, and the Ice Queen has threatened to stop us. I felt a little cold shiver go up and down my back, because if you'd ever seen the Ice Queen, you'd have done the same thing. She gave me the shivers. We packed up in a hurry and found Archie Pogley and the poet and started off down the silver trail toward the frozen country. As we went over the hill, I had to stop and look back at the Christmas tree forest just once more. It was so beautiful. I'll always remember it. Aren't you happy to know where your old Christmas trees grow? Be sure and meet me here tomorrow. Goodbye!